<laughs> no, that's not boring at all. I mean, I don't, I don't fully understand it, but it's, uh, it's very important. So uh, after this, I mean, we'll uh, try another plants or something. I have already, I mean, created a template for this thing, but then put in the code. Uh, sometimes we have, you know, in case we have to search and sort. We have this many rows of the table. You have to type and see because these are typed. Start typing, it will auto filter. What should I do? The text already in the, in the client side? Huh? And the client side, on the, on the client side. Okay, first we'll have to take care of this key down event in that text box. So every key down has to be captured. So uh, let's see how it's done in jQuery. So uh, first in the uh, document onload, we'll, I'll bind the key down event to that box maybe. As you can see, uh, the loading function is like this, written like this. This is document onload. If I write anything like alert test, it will just alert test. So this is onload. I have invoked a alert pop, uh, prompt at the document onload. So now we'll bind this text box on the key, uh, key down event. So this text box has an ID called search box. Right, it's an ID. So it's easy for jQuery to bind the event like, you know, this I mean, we uh, pick up the, the elements with hash when someone has an ID. Uh, key down. It has a key down property and 